Your self-esteem should not be tied into the attention of a boy. Do you, re do you realize after that explanation I gave how your self-esteem is tied into the attention of a boy? Yes. I do. So with that information, what do you do with that? You know, like when you really look in the, the mirror, you don't see. What do you see? Uh, If I'm being honest, I kind of like sometimes... Like, when I look in the mirror, mm -hmm. and if I look good to my standards, I'm like, you know, you look good. And then, you know, I point out all the flaws. So you can't even celebrate yourself without bringing yourself down. Basically, yeah. Oh my God. Sadly. You need to pay in attention mind. to that. Do you do anything to get in front of those thoughts and ideas, or you just let them ride? Are you reading my book? You took my book because you said you wanted to read it. Are you reading it? Yeah. Are you doing the work or are you just reading it for entertainment? Oh, my God. I, I don't understand how to do the work. Okay, because it's from an adult perspective, not from a child perspective. That's yes. why you need to journal. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's important for you to journal your process so that you can heal. And I'm more than... I'm more than available to sit down with you with the book and help you do the work. Because the sooner you know who you are, like I said, you are powerful. You chose two very powerful souls to align yourself with. My dad? Powerful? Yeah. You sure about that? Yeah. So it seemed like the weakest link by, you know. On the spiritual side, he ain't nothing. But on the soul side, he's very, very powerful. <laughs> You better take advantage of that. You better tap into that as soon as possible. You know, I I really wish like I had some type of relationship yeah, with my yeah, dad. Don't try to kiss me. But huh? the way you describe him. So see, look, you're already trying to pick at yourself. I didn't. How come your voice just can't be? Stop. Why can't your voice just be your voice? Why does it have to be high? Why does it have to be deep? Why can't it just be your voice? It's your voice, so I criticize it. Can you change it? Because you're so used to having to have a problem with yourself. You don't have to have a problem with yourself. How about you love yourself? How about that? You have to love yourself. Every time you think something negative about yourself, you have to counter it with a positive. Hold on, Bubba. You understand? Why is my voice so high pitched? Man, my voice is beautiful. It's melodic. Why is my hair? My hair is beautiful. It's a unique hairstyle that I've been growing since I was four years old. You are six years into a hairstyle. Seven. Seven years. You know I ain't good at math. <laughs> I'm not mathy. Relax. We are seven years into a hairstyle that nobody else can be into unless they're seven years invested. This is how you need to view yourself. You need to see your, yourself in your divinity. Angel, I know you think I'm trying to gas you because I'm your mom. But if you knew who you are, the sooner you know who you are, how powerful you'd be. Like, I know who I am at 42. Imagine if I knew who I was at 11. So I'm trying to help you realize how great you are now. Because all the years that people spend trying to figure themselves out, you can figure yourself out at 11 if you put the work in. And then you can spend the rest of your life creating the life that you deserve. Do you know that manifestation lies in the balance of you? As long as you're imbalanced, your manifestations and your dreams are never going to come to you. But as long as you do the work to balance yourself out at the capacity that you have to do so, you start drawing into you what you feel you do deserve. You can talk. Okay. So, <laughs> I was born by the men. You were born when? I, I was born by the men. You was a seven. It was one. 